Hi guys, good to have you all back. I'm so happy to be at my desk today. We're doing a little bit of renovating um, in my craft room slash studio. The renovating part is done, but now the cleaning up part is starting. So I'm taking a break. So I'm at my desk. I want to do a short little project because the rest of the cleaning up awaits. So let me tell you what I have on my desk and what the plan is for today. I have on my desk a page from the extra large mega miscellaneous pack. And this is, I've marked it, post office green. Post office green. Love it. So I was inspired by this one. And I made you guys a freebie. Promised you freebie, right? Yes. So I made one. I have called this uh, correspondence something. Something with correspondence freebie. Yeah, it's three pages. It's three pages. So... Um, cards that you can write on sort of ledger type of cards and envelopes also with space for writing and some lovely writing on it then I have this telegrams why not telegrams you guys have been asking me uh, where do you journal in your journal because I decorate all of it so I made sort of journal cards see you can write on here so some telegrams lovely and then poster stamps now I am blessed I have a gazillion poster stamps but I made some Yes, with some old uh, buildings on them. If you want smaller ones, print them to two page. Then you have smaller ones. But I really, really like those. So, yes. Freebie? Freebie, guys. Linked below. The extra large mega miscellaneous pack. Link below. I have it in um, A4 size and in US letter size. Now, mind you guys. For instance, with this one. If you print this out... In letter size, the borders around them are different. Yes, you ha still have the whole image, but the borders around them are different. Because you use different uh, size of paper than we do here in Europe. Yeah? Okay, that's it for the, um, the freebie and the digital. What else are we using and what are we making? What am I making? I want to make a simple sort of folio. Yeah? With all sort of pockets and tuck spots and, and lovely stuff on it. So I need a piece of cardstock. I've taken out something green. Yes, green cardstock. But, you know, guys, any color that you want. But I was sort of inspired by the green. So a piece of cardstock. Now, for the tools, the usual suspect. I have a ruler, knife, glue, scissors. I also have these scissors. Now, I have a lot of these sort of children's scissors or what have you because i want to cut out the poster stamps now i do not have the perfect scissors for this <laughs> this is the closest that i can get i have 15 of them probably and none of them have the small little you know edges on them but it is what it is um i'm gonna do some distressing i've, I've taken out frayed burlap because i think that works very well with the green i have my corner rounder because you know i just want to hold my corner rounder today don't know if i'm gonna use it but i'm gonna you know stroke it i will be doing some stamping because oh my gosh so much lovely spaces for not on the post stamps for stamping yeah so i've taken out finally using tidbits because i want some numbers i really need to use this i love this one well i think i'm gonna love it have not used it then i'm going to need an address uh, i want to stamp an address on here and there is sort of an address on a uh, French garden. Yeah, already used it. I think it's lovely. Now, for all you stamp makers out there. Yes, I'm talking to you, Sam Paul and Lorna from TaylorMade Journals. And also Tony, who I have been talking to just, you know, a couple of minutes ago. Make me stamps with addresses on them. Different fronts. Handwritten, typed, grungy, newer addresses we need addresses so make me some <laughs> okay hoping that will work um for stamping i am using fallen leaves of course and i've taken out a uh, spruce yeah because i think this green goes really well might use some hardware i think i will but do not know for sure yet let's find out okay lovey stop your yapping start crafting so i've already cut out all the freebies inked all around them and i used well these sort of scissors on the poster stamps they do have lovely edges now uh but you know you can use normal scissors okay i don't know i don't know what i'm doing i just want to use some of this i cannot use all of it but i'm gonna use some of it i want to make sort of a 
folio fold open something yeah and i'm thinking i want this to be on the front i'm just gonna flip it over and i also want rounded corners on this so i'm just gonna take out my corner rounder first i'm going to round the corners on the cardstock yes and then I'm going to round the corners. Well, this is too tall, love. This is too tall. Need to cut the size. I will leave the tiniest bit of the green visible. Did my dad use all my pencils? <laughs> he needed a pencil when we were doing the renovating. And well, he took out a couple of them. There we go. Need to cut this to size. I'm going to do this with my paper trimmer because... Um, well, that's the straightest that I can cut. There you go. Ta-da. Now, I did ink all around all of them, except for this one, because I knew I wanted rounded corners on this. I am just going to round the corners on the edge here, where I'm going to put it. Yeah? Not on this edge. It's going to be folded. So, before I fold it. I'm just going to glue it on. Um, like so. Yes, leaving a tiny bit of room all around. I might add some. Are we going to make this into a tuck spot pocket thingy? No, 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 no. This is going to be sort of the flap that, well, not really a closure, but the flap. Oh, hello, Art. Did you miss me? Well, you've seen a video this Wednesday that I've recorded uh, well, at least a week ago, maybe even more, because I knew we were going to do some renovations and my vacation has not even started yet. No. There we go. See? Leaving a bit, leaving a bit of room everywhere. Pulling it in. Oh, let it dry. First, let it dry, love. Come on. Do you want to use your scoreboard for this? Well, why not? Not necessary at all, lovies. I just need a little bit of help. Moving in. There we go. This is going to help me out. Yes, so we have a this, and I think I want to fold this in as well, but I really want room to put this on. Do we have room? I'm going to create some room. I'm going to fold it over, yeah, and put this on here. Now, this will be a pocket, but I want to do some lovely decorating here as well. So here's what I'm doing. I'm just going to mark it here. Do we have enough room? Well, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Dare it. Just oh, I'm gonna score here. Just score here. Now, hopefully, this folds far enough for this to fold over. Yes, it does. It does. It does. Making it up as we go, loves. Yes. It's going to be sort of an envelope thingy. Yeah, but then on its side. So I want to do some lovely decorating here as well. Yes, here, here, pockets here, maybe something here and here. But I'm going to start here on the back first with this one, with the actual post office. Yeah, this is going to be a big pocket, but I want to do a little bit of decorating here before. I think I want to make sort of a collage in the, in the background um, with one of those. There you go. This one sticking out has a posted stamp mark. Putting on this post stamp. Oh, that looks lovely. And then, uh, well, small, small this. Yeah. Now it has room here for guess what? Some stamping. Yeah. So I'm going to start with this one here. 
Normally I would stamp beforehand, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to fill the small places up with some lovely tidbits. <laughs> with some lovely tidbits. I would say bits and bobs, but Tim Holtz Holt calls them tidbits. Well, you know, fine by me, Mr. Holtz. Fine by me. But this was going to go further, yeah. There we go. You can use just glue stick for this, loves. But you know, Art just wants to go, come out and play. There we go. Now, when I'm collaging, I just want to make sure that none of the lines just sort of line up. It's a me thing. Yes, this goes here, this goes here. And this goes... Did I do this upside down? There's no up or down on this one, love. No, okay. Let's do this here. What I want to do is leave the stamping for now. And if I've decorated... When I decorated everything... I'm going to uh, take out the stamps and then do all the stamping. Yeah, yes, okay. There we go. Now make this into a pocket. No gussets or anything, just a normal pocket. This on the fold no it's not okay there we go so this is the back front let's do another front here that's going to look cool so I'll make another collage here I'm not going to round these corners the only corners rounded are on this flap so I'm going to have this here I will make it into a pocket. Do not know if I'm going to put anything in it. But, you know, you could potentially put a lovely something in. It's going to go here. And then I'm going to stamp something there. Put another one of these big poster stamps on. And then one behind here. Yes, yeah, some stamping. I have this. Yeah, it says post office. Yes, this is going to be the pocket. I'm going to glue this one on first. There we go. Yep. Do you want to? I'm going to make a notch. Just to indicate that there is um, a pocket there that you can put something in. More inking then. Yes, there we go. No corner roundings, new. No. And I'm gonna stamp something there. Oops, oops, oops. Pocket thingy, big poster stamp, I love it. You could also just cut the poster stamp part off and use it as a lovely little piece of decorating, yeah. There you go, love. This goes here. Then I have a couple. I have three of these pencils. Cute, right? Yeah. Just going to put it on. Oh, that looks awesome. Does that not look awesome? Awesome. Yes. Fantastic. 
front, back. Well, we have the insides. Yeah, I'm going to start with this piece. I have the tall one with the lovely floral here on the bottom. It is not long enough, but that's quite all right. I am, however, going to round the corner here and put it all the way. Well, not all the way to the bottom, but as far as possible. Did I do seven on this? Did I? Mm, probably did. This is not going to be uh, a pocket. This is, however, going to be a journal card. I'm going to put this on and then just add a poster stamp and do some stamping here. Do you want to overlap this? I do. Yeah. So lots of space for actual journaling. Or just, you know. Writing a lovely letter. You can make this into an envelope. Yeah. Put a real poster stamp on and uh, there you go. There we go. And then this one. I might do more decorating, but I don't think so. Maybe a little bit of stamping. Yes, leaving this for now. Then this side. Um, I have this lovely card. And another one. There are, however, now two clocks on here. I'm going to cut one out. Do I have a smaller one? Half inch one. I do. Not big enough? Yes, yeah, big enough. There you go. Was that the wrong one? <laughs> now I'm going to have it like so. Let's see. Um, num num. This is going to go here. This is going to go here. Or. I'm actually going to stamp something here. Yes, because it has lots of these sort of circle thingies. Yeah, okay. Here and here. I want a poster stamp here in the background. Yes, I have another one of these pencils. That is pretty cool. Another poster stamp here. And then stamping. Yes, 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 yes. Here's one. I will have this as a pocket. However, I am going to glue here, here and here. Yes, so this part is not going to be uh, the pocket. Oh, let's glue the rest as well. <laughs> not just that part. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Do you want this? No, I'm just going to have it on. Let me stamp here. Yeah. 
There we go. Yes. Now I want to make two pockets here. I'm going to make these two into pockets. I think this is a little bit too close to one another, so I'm going to flip it. Is that, oh, you just flip it. Yeah. No worries. I'm going to put this here. And this one here more towards the top. Yes. Um, do you want something behind here? I don't know. I think I want to have this on here. This one. I'm going to flip this. No. On here. Yes. Another poster stamp. There. And then maybe something peeking out. Ooh, the Eiffel Tower. Oh, wow, that's cool. They're all so beautiful. I just love all of them. No, there's already a poster stamp there. And I'm going to do lots of stamping. Yes. Including here. I'm just going to glue these on first. Another pocket. Oh yes, let's make this into another pocket. And you can put a poster stamp in. That is a cool idea. See, you can now just pull, put some of the stamps in. Yes, cool. Very cool. And then... Put on the Eiffel Tower here. The pencil first. And this. Looks like the Washington Bridge or a bridge in America. In uh, Washington, San Francisco. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, hon, if you do not know what you're talking about, don't talk about it. A bridge, you know, in the United States. The Golden Gates. I don't know, loves. Another pocket. Oops, a little bit over here. That's the fold, love. That's the fold. And this is the fold. Will it fit? Just, just about fits. Fits, fits. It's already lovely. Yeah. So we have uh, pocket pockets. I'm going to do a little bit more decorating. I want to put something here. Did I put it upside down? Oh, please don't put it upside down. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I I have these small little poster stamps. I'm going to put one here as well. Yes. I'm going to do a little bit more decorating and I'm taking out my stamps because I want to do some stamping and it also needs a closure. So I'm going to do a little bit more decorating before I do the stamping. I want to cover this, well, part of it up. There we go. Yes. So I need to cut it. Um, but I am not cutting straight at the moment. So just taking out my disc. Thinking. I need to put it on here. There's one. Now I wanted some teeny tiny poster stamps. I had six of them. I just kept them together. I need a little bit more inking than in the middle. 
Yes, these are going to go here. Cool. Yes, what else did I want to do? Uh, well, I had the strippy left. <laughs> I'm going to put it here. Lovely blank spot. There. Then I had one teeny tiny one. I'm going to put that one here. There you go. Then I had this sort of a metal closure thingy. I'm going to put it on here. On this top. I might have it stick out for the tiniest bit. Yes, just a tiny bit. Now it looks like it could have um, screws in there or something. So I'm going to put in the, the tiniest little brats. I'm hoping this will work. Did I put it too close to the top? I'm hoping I didn't. Oh, it looks so cool. Yes, it looks really, really cool. Don't rip the paper off. Careful, careful, careful. Because it's almost all the way to the edge. Oh, did I rip it? No. Now I need to put it somewhere. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to put it here. And I'm also not going to glue all the, all the, it all the way up. So it will be sort of a flip up. That you can write a secret message here. I'm thinking. But I should have printed something on the back. I didn't. So I'm going to ink it. Do I have a still piece of paper left? To die. Just as long as it's not white, white. The top doesn't really bother me, bother me because you're not going to see it. Does it allow for a do I have smaller poster stamp? No, all of them are too big. Oh, I could do this. Yes. There we go. And you can sort of flip it up. Oh, that's so cool. There are going to be eyelets here and there. I'm going to add two eyelets. And this is just going to be glued on the top. As a sort of a flip up. Have it straight. Yes, yes, yes. Really cool. Uh, did we do enough decorating? Do we need something here? Maybe one poster stamp here on the bottom. Do we have a another sort of landscape one? No, these are all portrait. Make up your mind, love. I'm going to have this one. There you go. Let's do some stamping. I also have a couple of these left. One, two, three, four. That I'm going to make into the cards that will fit into the pockets. So I'm already half an hour in because I've got about time and, you know, because I'm having fun. I'm going to do a lot of stamping with, with tidbits and um, the French garden. And I think I want to use um, a bit of this here because I have a big blank space here. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I've done with the tidbits. <laughs> 
before I just took them all apart, I made a big sort of stamp. So I know what goes where. Am I going to keep to this system? I don't know. It's going to give me a little bit of headache. But I'm going to try, guys. So I'm going to use the tidbits and um, deconstructed. Also a lovely one. And then the address from French Garden. Yes. If I'm going to stamp on paper, I'll probably use green. If I'm going to stamp on the background, I'm going to use uh, fallen leaves. So let me do all the stamping and show you what I've done. All the stamping is done. Now, guys, I have... This is the first time that I've used the stamp set. I have a couple of issues, small issues that I really want to address. Um, first off, I absolutely still love the stamp set. I do highly recommend it. It is a staple in your, you know, stamp collection. However, even before I started um, using the stamps, there was already an issue with it. It was not cut right. It was cut a couple of the stamps. It was cut on the, the edges of the stamp. So part of it was on the other stamp. I had to exchange mine for another one. And this is a problem that a couple of other subscribers and friends of mine also had. So not a really good thing. Then there's the thing of, you know, taking them all apart and where do they go? That's, that's fine. That worked out well for me. Now, when you're stamping, this is actually the first stamp that I've used. As you can tell, it has some of the edges on here. Do not, and I repeat, do not just dunk your stamp into your ink pad. Yes, lightly, gently put the, the smallest amount of pressure, just dab your stamp. Because all the edges, for some reason, they were also inked. So I really had to be very careful and then remove the ink from the edges. I just use my fingers. That's why I have some smudges. Also, when I took all the stamps apart, two of them, separate ones, were cut on the front, but not on the back. I don't know what the issues are, uh, but I'm not complaining. Mr. Holtz, I'm not complaining. It's fantastic. But honestly, take off five of the stamps and I, I think... We'll, we would have been happy with 50 stamps, believe me. But there's well, a couple of issues. But still, love it. Okay, let me show you all the stamping. Well, um, everywhere. <laughs> I do really like the designs. I absolutely love them. So I did some stamping on the cards as well uh, with, with green. And I love all the numbers on here. It's just absolutely fantastic. So I absolutely love this one. Yeah. It's like it's in a, well, in a Dutch passport. You can find it because, you know, it's perforated. It's really cool. Yeah? I, the squiggly stamp. And also on the back, did a little bit of stamping here and there. And the address with a smudge. Yes, because, you know, my, my fingers were inky. Okay, I have some cards that I want to put in. And I am going to add a closure. I'm going to do an elastic closure. I'm going to have an eyelet here and here gonna be careful because i have a disc here so i need to put the eyelet underneath yeah and then i'm gonna put elastic through it yeah okay but first i'm going to put in these two eyelets i really like these eyelets with the washers it looks so cool so professional yes if you have these guys you use them don't push too hard yes just you know squeeze it a little bit and and then they're done because if you squeeze them too hard it will make sort of a dent and we do not want a dent. So I have some elastic out. I used to have green, but that's all gone. So hopefully I can find some more green someday. Yes, just normal elastic. I'm gonna use black. Just gonna put it through. There you go. Sort of wrap it all around. Yes, I do need to make a knot so do not cut off too much, lovey. Let's cut this off. You could also add, if you want to, uh, a dangle to this. That, that could be cute. There we go. Yes. And then you do this. See? Yeah. Other one as well. Put it through, snip it, don't um, 
pull it too tight, lovies, because your paper might bend. So not too tight. Do we want a dangle? No. Was that tight enough? There we go. That was not tight enough, so <laughs> we need to tighten it. There we go. Yes, perfect. Now, all we have to do is put in the little cards. So I made some of the cards. I just put, uh, these are blank on the other side, guys. Um, you can back them with lined paper, coffee light paper, or just print one of the background pages on the back if you want to. I just put uh, a poster stamp on here, here, because we have loads of them. And this one, I, I had this stick out as sort of a, a tab. Now, where do we want to put them? I'm gonna open it up. I need a big one here, so I made this. This was actually a little bit too wide, so, you know, took scissors and cut it to size. There you go. So this is going to go here. Then we have this one here. Side loading pocket. There you go. Then here, I'm going to put the other envelope in here. Around the corners, just inked all around it. There you go. And then the big one here on the back. With the florals, with a lovely post stamp. It's just cool. And then we have, well, loads of poster stamps left. And I'm just going to put a couple of them in here. I'm going to have this here. This is a bigger space. One, two. A little bit of a blue one. Or grayish one. And then all of these here can basically put all of them in. Oh, they're so cool. I really like them. Oh, that's upside down. There. And the last one here is sort of sticking out. Ta-da! Ta-da! See this? Although I love this. Yes. Right. A secret message here. Very cool. Very cool. So let me show you the almost half an hour project. <laughs> I went a little bit over, but that's quite all right. While I'm showing you this, guys, I'm going to tell you where to get all the digitals. Also, if you don't use digitals, do this with any other paper that you want, lobbies, or in any other, another theme, whatever you want. Okay, the, the digitals, of course, are on my Ko-Fi. I'm, I'm, I've linked everything below. I've used one page from the extra large mega pack, and then all three of the freebies actually... I've used everything up. I don't have any scraps left. Yeah. So we made lovely cards. You can also, if you cannot afford digitals, but you can only afford freebies, make this just from, from the freebies loves. Yeah. Why not? Why not? So they're linked below um, in two sizes, A4 size and letter size. Be sure you get uh, the right one. Yeah. Okay, now if you don't know how freebies work on Ko-Fi, when, um, when you download them, it says fill in amount. If you want these for free, fill in a zero because zero is, you know, for free. Um, if you want to support the channel and um, donate a little something, fill in one dollar or two dollars or how many dollars that you want. Yeah, and then the last one in the back. Fantastic. I really like it. I love it. Well, at least, guys, get the freebie because the post stamps, I think, are just amazing. Okay, that's it for today, loves. Um, the weekend is here, so enjoy your weekend. I will be back on Sunday. Yeah, I have filmed a video a couple of weeks ago where I organized my fabric collection. So if you want to see how many <laughs> fabrics I have, it's a lot, I can tell you. Uh, and how, how I've organized them, be sure to tune in this Sunday. And if you want to do another small project, a holiday bite, yeah, I'll be back again on Monday with a short video, hopefully, hopefully short. So see you then. Bye, guys.